Good morning and praise the Lord. I'm so happy that you clicked this link. Today, we are going to be praying for wisdom. If you're new here on my channel, we pray, we study God's word, and we provide tips to help you live your life victoriously. If you're new and you need these things or you know someone who does, let's go ahead and subscribe and become a part of our virtual faith family. I pray for my subscribers every day. I just finished praying for some of you and know that uh, God loves you. I'm happy to see the exciting things happening in your lives. I got some great praise reports. I think uh, I saw Bernice, um, I believe got a job. Um, there are some others. I got to go back through my list here, but God bless y'all. I'm happy, happy, happy to see God moving in your life. So today we're going to be praying for wisdom. We need godly wisdom in every area of our lives, ladies. I cannot think of one area where we don't need divine wisdom, right? So come with me um, and pray in faith as we kick off this week we're still believing God to see manifestation in the month of May. That's why I love reading praise reports. We declared manifestation May, and I'm seeing it in some of your lives. Praise God. So we're going to need wisdom. If God blesses you with a brand new job and you're making a lot more money, you need wisdom on how to steward that. Um, if you are planning summer for your kids, you need wisdom on what to do, especially with the coronavirus being here, trailing off mass vaccines. Let's talk about vaccine. You need the wisdom of God on whether to get it. Um, as Christians, we don't live in fear. We walk by faith. Amen. But we still need wisdom. So come with me, y'all. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each and every one of my precious sisters. The Bible is so clear. If we lack wisdom, the Bible says all we got to do is ask you for it and you'll give it to us generously. You'll lavish wisdom on us. And so, Father, we're asking you for wisdom in every area of our lives. Father, the Bible says in Proverbs 1 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but it's fools who despise wisdom and instruction. Father, we don't want to be foolish women. We want to be wise women. Father, we pray that if we need instruction and counsel in any area of our lives, Lord, let these ladies get it this week. Father, we pray right now, Colossians 3, that the word of God, your word, would dwell in us richly so that teaching and admonishing one another in wisdom. So, Father, let your word permeate every area of our lives. Hallelujah. Father, if we are foolish in any area, in our physical life, in our mental life, in our emotional life, in our spiritual life, Father, we decree and declare those days of being unwise are over. Father, Proverbs 16, 16, it says, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold, to get understanding than silver? So, Father, yes, we have needs of a lot of things in our lives. We know it. We wake up with needs. We go to bed with needs, Dad. But, Father, more than anything, we need your presence and we need your wisdom, Father. And so I pray for that over these precious, precious ladies, Lord. If they are making foolish decisions, let it end today. If they're making unwise decisions for their household, for their job situation, for ministry, Lord, there are ladies that need wisdom concerning their church homes. Father, give them wisdom, Lord. Oh, Father, we pray for that, Lord. Proverbs 15 says that the fear of the Lord is instruction and wisdom and humility comes before honor. Help us to humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord. Let us hear from you this week, Lord. Give us the courage. Give us the insight to be wise today and every day. 
It's in the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Let's have a wise week. We're not going to rely on our own way of thinking this week. What we're going to rely on is the Spirit of God all week. Let's do that. Let's make sure the Spirit of God is leading us in all wisdom, all truth, and all knowledge. Thank you again for joining me. Again, please subscribe. And if you are one of my Oh, goodness, 891 subscribers. I'm very grateful for you. Be sure to share with friends and family. God bless you.